provision precedes every need. Provision precedes every need because in the blood covenant, you have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Provision precedes every need because in the blood covenant, you have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. When you are in a covenant relationship with God, everything God owns belongs to you and everything you own belongs to God. It was a very, very extreme, extreme request from God. How do you tell a man to bring his only son, a son that he got in his old age, he was attached to this boy like like anything else and God said that's the that's the person you are going to bring for a sacrifice for an offering a burnt offering but you see my friends this morning there's nothing we have that we have not been given Ephesians 1 3 says blessed be God the father of our Lord Jesus who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places you know when Jesus told his disciples when he told them when he told them to feed those people, the multitude, the Bible says he knew what he was going to do. I want to say to a child of God this morning, every time there's a need in your life, the provision already exists in the spirit. You know why? Because you have been blessed with everything God has. He says he has blessed us, past tense, with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. The Bible says Jesus is a lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Before we could commit any sin, before we failed, God had a, a way out. I want to say to a child of God this morning, it may look like you are facing a closed door. You may feel you are hedged in, in front of you and behind you. But I want to say you serve a God that knows the ending from the beginning. He knows how it's going to end. He said, I'm Alpha and Omega. When he starts a thing, he's going to complete it in your life. Am I talking to living souls in the house of God today? I want to declare over your life this morning that our God is not like their God. Our God is alive. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Whatever you need already exists in the spirit. Be it money, be it a house, be it a car, be it an admission, whatever you need in your life already exists in the spirit. This building was in the spirit. In the mind of God, he saw this place before it ever came. The provision, they are already there. Child of God, you may be looking right now at an impossible situation financially, an impossible situation materially, but you are not just a nobody. You are a, co you are a covenant child of a covenant God. Your father owns it all in the gas industry your father owns it all in the financial industry your father owns it all he said i can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us child of god you are not just a nobody you are somebody in god this morning and i'm saying to you he said open your mouth wide and i will fill it if you can open your mouth then the god of heaven is going to fill your mouth I said, if you can open your mouth, the God of heaven this morning is going to fill your mouth. That's why he makes this kind of extreme requests. 